Hey guys, Coach Daniel Hammer at Tennis here. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Axiom 9-pack tennis racket bag. And this is by GoSport. All right, so let's take a closer look at the Axiom tennis racket bag here. And um, so this winter, the founder of Go Sport, Chris, reached out to me, and he talked to me about doing a review on this bag. And so he talked about how he had been in the industry of backpacking, camping, and so he wanted to bring that knowledge into the tennis world. And so you're going to find that the Axiom is made up of a little bit different materials than maybe some of the other tennis bags. It does kind of remind me of the Nike Court Tech 1 bag. Um, some other people had mentioned that as well, that, that has that locker style with the dividers. But there are some key differences between this bag and that bag. So let's go ahead and take a look here. And I've already got mine loaded down to show you some of the things and how you can kind of load your bag up. It does, it's freestanding, which is nice. Um, and it has this handle on the top here, which is super sturdy, that you can grab it on. It also has two backpack straps. And I do like the way that this backpack is engineered more just like a backpack. A lot of racket bags, those seem to be an afterthought. And so when you try to lift them up, the bag kind of falls and your stuff goes everywhere. So this is called a nine pack bag. I've got it currently loaded with four rackets because on the side, you've got these um, long pockets here that are padded on each side and you can get two rackets down in there. Um, at first, it was a little tight at the top, but then after I've been using this bag for a few months, it kind of loosened up and I don't have any issues with that up there and then on the other side same thing you've got a pocket here where you can put two rackets um, they go in there nice and secure there is no foil inside these a lot of racket bags have that foil um, but one thing Chris and I were discussing as well is that the foil really only does you good if there's some sort of source inside like a cooler you put ice in the cooler it keeps it cold but just on its own it doesn't really do anything to keep the temperature so it's just one of those kind of tennis gimmicks. Um, so instead of using though that material, because that foil material, it seems like it always where the stitching is, it always it's brittle. After a while, it rips, and now you've got that exposed foam on the inside. Down on the side, there's another pocket here that has like a soft material, and there's three thin, deep pockets in there. My only issue though with these three pockets is they're kind of tight and they're kind of deep. So I'm afraid if I put keys or something small in there, um, it might be too hard to get out and my hand didn't reach all the way to the bottom. But it would be good for like a phone or some taller electronic items like that or maybe like an Apple Watch, something that you could easily get in and out that you don't want to get scratched up. Then on the other side, there's another similar pocket, but this one doesn't have the felt lining. It's just a deep pocket. It's a little tight in there just because it's on the outside and the rackets, when the rackets are loaded, it, there's not a ton, so it'd be good for like maybe some grips or anything like that. Then on this side, there's one pocket here, which I like this pocket a lot, and it's kind of my catch-all. So in here, you know, I can put my sunglasses, I've got my keys, I've got my wallet, I've got a marker. You know, I've got all kinds of just some odds and ends because this pocket's really accessible. <clears throat> it's right here on the side. It's really easy to reach down to the bottom. I can pretty much get everything out of there that I want. I've got some vibration dampeners, I've got some batteries, I've got different, some odds and ends in there, some grip tape. And so that pocket I like a lot for just putting my general um, use items. Then on top, we've got the traditional shoe pocket, which this is nice. I like the fact a lot that it's on top, where most bags, other bags, it's going to be down on the bottom or it's going to be somewhere where you've got to jam everything else in. Um, it's hard to get to. I like that this is right on top. It's easy. So any sort of uh, evaporation or odors just go straight out the top. It's got a lot of mesh right here. And so I've got two shoes just right into the side. These two retros are pretty, pretty large shoes and they go in easily. Um, you just put those down in there and fits. I also have a hat. Um, so if you're like me, maybe you sweat through your hat a lot. 
Um, I do like the fact, again, this is on top because now I can just drop a hat right in here and it's not going to get all smashed up. It's not going to get all torn up. So I can put other items in there or a shirt. Maybe you sweat through your shirt. You've got enough room in here. You can put that in there. And then you know that it's going to dry because it's exposed. Where a lot of other bags, again, that shoe compartment, that wet item compartment is almost underneath everything else. And there's just a little bit of mesh. There's just a little maybe hole that has the ability to breathe. This is right there on top. Even the sun's going to get there. You could leave it open if you need it to dry even quicker. And this pocket is um, going to be more durable towards water and stuff like that. Um, it says that it's waterproof. I haven't really poured a bunch of water in there to see if I could just pour a cup of water. But it's a large, it's a large shoe pocket. I really like that one. You could also put your everyday items in there as well if you don't want to carry any extra shoes. And so you can load your shoes and there are a couple different ways. They fit really easy. Um, so you got a lot of space. Now let's get to the main compartment here. So this is one of the features that makes this bag stand out from some of the others. Again, it will kind of remind you of that Nike bag, but this one's different in the fact that these compartments in this bag are Velcro. So you're able to adjust the size of the compartments by moving this Velcro. And so, I mean, they're rather large. I've got a shirt, I've got a water bottle in there, I've got my towel, I've got a Gatorade, and down at the bottom, I've even got enough room for four cans of balls. Now, if I want to adjust, if I want to adjust this compartment, what I do is I just take this out, this Velcro out, and it's very firm you don't have to worry about like it falling in fact it's almost maybe too sticky but the velcro it's not going to go anywhere um, and these these will completely remove and so now i can either readjust the size or i can keep those out completely all right so let's go take a look at how to put these compartments back in and so again, this Velcro is really sticky. The best way to do it is to kind of fold them up and then kind of bend this a little bit. And you're going to want to hit the bottom part first and then let the sides kind of spread out. And then once you get it in there, you can kind of adjust it. Again, the Velcro is super strong. It's very, it sticks really good. That's not going to come loose. And I'm going to put my other one in here about like that. Oops, I got that one in up, up right down. So it does help if you put the three, so there's three sides of Velcro and one side with not, that's obviously supposed to be on the top here. So make sure you get all the Velcro sides to touch. And so I'm going to put that in like that and now I can put my layers back in how I had them. Um, so I can load this back up. Now, one thing I do want to show you guys too is the bottom of the bag. So it is important to note that so this bottom, it's a very durable nylon feeling. I've been using this and you can see it does have some wear on there, but nothing too serious. Um, a little bit different than most bags, you know. So you've got the backpack side here. I really wouldn't suggest laying it down on the court surface, maybe a bench or something you could like that. But for the most part, it's designed to sit, which is nice because if you have this unzipped, you can come over, grab a racket and go. You can leave this. You don't have your whole bag open. I do like that. Um, you can get those rackets out and you just pop them in there and you go and you're playing. Um, it's pretty quick and easy. You just set it there. One thing that would be nice on this bag is if there was a handle on the front that kind of closed over that way. So again, I could carry it this way. Um, right now, the only two ways are these backpack straps or this handle. And if I've got it loaded down, it's not a big deal, but if I've got to walk, maybe you're playing indoors, you got to walk behind a curtain or something and you don't want it rattling around on your back, right here, this is really the only handle that you've got or holding it this way. It would be nice if there was a, a handle here, but for the most part, I find that it's really easy to move around. It's easy to put into my car. Um, I do like the way that it sets and it sets by itself. It's freestanding. That's also really cool. Um, it's pretty lightweight. The materials, it's, you know, tennis bags aren't, haven't really come along much in the last 20 years or so. I think this bag is definitely helping it um, with these materials that he's using here. It's, it's real comfortable, so when I wear it as a backpack, 
it's comfortable, it's padded all the way down. The backpack, you know, and that's the thing I like about this one is that the backpack's not an afterthought. Um, when you wear it, it's not sitting there bouncing around on your butt. A lot of times those bags, all the way, everything just falls down because there's just one big compartment in the bag. So all of your gear just falls straight down. That's the nice thing about these compartments is you can put your gear in there and it keeps the weight evenly distributed. So that way when you're walking, it's not going every which way. So I really do like that, guys. All right, so how does the Ghost Board, the Axum, compare to a bag, like a more traditional bag? So this Babolat, this is a little bit older model, but it's a six pack, and this is what I had been using prior to. And so if I open it up, it just has one large compartment down inside here. Just one, and everything is loose. It does have a smaller pocket here, and then the shoe compartment, which is underneath this pocket, and it gets all in. So if I have stuff in here, your shoes now are all over, and they're loose in there. And you can see that on the shoe compartment, the only mesh is along the side here. And primarily, it's covered up. So there's, the ventilation is not quite the same. You know, you've got the, the foil lining, and then you've got enough for three rackets in each pocket to make six. You know, and so most of this stuff, even with the Go Sport bag, I'm able, I was able to get six rackets in it with my shoes in. So that's about normally what I would carry. But the biggest difference is when I zip this up, the backpack straps, I've never understood exactly how to best use these. When you pick it up, everything falls now down to one side. And if I pick it up, it's, it's like the bag I feel like you should carry it on the other side, but these straps are made to carry it here. So then, I don't know, I guess you carry it this way with the weight down, and now again, everything just fed onto the bottom. Um, it's like this backpack is more of an afterthought. When you put it on, this bag feels giant on your back. And it, just, and, it, and it bounces around when you walk. Everything falls down to the bottom. There's no organization to it. Um, you know, it does have the branding of your rackets, so a lot of people do like matching up the rackets. But, um, you know, it's been a good bag, but it just doesn't have the dividers. It doesn't have the organization. Um, it's washed out. You can see that it's been out in the sun. The sun's faded it out. Um, so... Compared to the Axiom bag, you know, the Axiom bag is definitely a lot more organized. It keeps my stuff separate. It's not, everything's not falling all, all over the place. If I want to find something now after I've just mixed everything up, I've got to go in here and I've got to dig. And usually what happens with this bag is it falls all the way under the shoes and I've got to reach back way under there. So for me, um, I like the Axiom bag better because the organization and the way that it carries, it's a much easier bag to carry. And so for me, I think the Axiom bag does beat out my Babolat bag. For me, I think the Axiom bag is gonna be my new go-to bag. All right guys, so what are my final thoughts on the Axiom 9-pack racket bag by Ghost Sport? Um, I really like how easy it is to organize everything. The zippers on this seem very durable. They just smooth, very smooth going. There's not a lot of excess material that gets clogged up in the zippers. I love that. You know, from the outside, it looks like a very minimalistic bag, but it's really packed with lots of features. And I do like that. And I like the fact that it's, you can customize how this bag works for you. Whereas the Nike bag just had a thing that folded down, this one has the dividers that I can take in and out. So if I want more space inside, I can have it. If I want to have more organization, I can have it. If I want one shelf, I can do that. And so I do like that I can customize this to my needs. It's got enough pockets that I'm gonna be able to get everything in this bag that I need to carry. Um, it's smaller profile, makes it, you know, not it's not taking up a ton of space in my car. Um, on court, it looks very nice. You can even hang it by this hook if you had a hook there. I do like the fact that it's easy to carry. Overall, I think this is an excellent bag. Um, so this is something that I think you guys are going to like. Give this, Check it out, GoSport.com. I've been Coach Daniel for Hammer Tennis, guys. If you haven't yet, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. 
and hit those comments below. We'd love to hear what are your thoughts on this design and this racket bag. So guys, I've been Coach Daniel. Thanks for watching.